Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel, Living Like Lindsay, where I'm continually covering all things every single Wednesday. Today we are planning on covering some positive psychology, and if you don't know anything about positive psychology, you probably should. So stick around and we'll get into that. Okay, so I also wanted to mention that since I am having a really busy day here, I am going to literally be taking you guys along my entire ride with me, and we are going to be talking about positive psychology probably in Walmart, probably in Kohl's, probably on the road, so just bear with me. Okay, so if we are talking all things positive psychology, it would be helpful to know what positive psychology is. So essentially, it is the study of the good life. Hey guys, so our first thing here is having optimistic beliefs about the future. And the reason having optimistic beliefs about the future is so extremely important is because it actually leads you to have a longer, happier, and healthier life. And it does allow you to escape both mental and physical illness as we age. These are really, 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 really things that are honestly so important for us to be taking on. And just one thing that you really, 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 really should try doing. Okay, friends, so secondarily on our positive psychology list for the day is literally to make sure that we are looking at others positively because when you look at others positively, it actually self-reflects and allows you to see the positive traits within yourself. Next up on my list for positive psychology for the day is being around happier people makes you a happier human. Let me say it one more time for the people in the back. Being around happy people makes you a happier human. You guys, this one is huge. You have never been around a group of people that is sad, depressed, mad, angry, all of the above, and been happy. Like, I mean, you might have, but it's very, very seldom that it happens. So your best bet here is to literally make sure that you are hanging out with people who are positive, uplifting, laughing all the time, because when they're happy, you're happy. So my next one on our list is that if you hug a person for longer than 20 seconds, there are actually chemicals in your brain that get released that allow you to trust that person. So I specifically remember my professor talking about the fact that ratios play a large role in positive psychology and that it takes, I wanna say like, seven to eight good things to happen in your day to counteract um, like two to three bad things. So the amount of good things that we need to happen in our day are far more than we would need negative things to happen um, as far as like contradicting them and actually just having a good overall day. So what this means to me is that we should just try harder to be the positive in people's lives because they have so much negative already. I'm sure that you don't know that they're dealing with. So just be the positive. It's so much easier. Okay, so while we are currently literally in the Walmart parking lot, let's go over some positive psychology because why not, you know? Okay, so next on my list, you guys, is that being a busier person prevents you from thinking about the negative, which essentially is a positive thing. So keeping busy makes you a more positive person because it prevents you essentially from thinking about the negative things in life. We all know we've had moments where we sit down and we're like doing nothing in our day and we feel unproductive and we're like, dang, I could have done so much more with this day, or like blah 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 is doing this with their life and I'm just sitting here on my phone and on my computer all day. And I know that it's okay to have days that are like that, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, if you are busy and doing things, you are not thinking about the negative, you are thinking about what you're doing. So essentially, being a busier person makes you a happier human. Okay, thank you so much for sticking with me through all of that chaos in the car. I know we are thankful to be back home. I'm thankful to be back home. So let's get on a roll with that positive psychology. Okay, so laughing is actually making the pain that we experience a little bit more easy to experience. So basically this is saying that the pain that we experience is lessened by laughter. This probably speaks volumes as to why people laugh 
or just try to make jokes out of really bad situations. If you don't laugh, you should probably try laughing more, honestly, because laughing will get you farther in life. Okay, so my next one here, guys, is that being outdoors greatly increases being a happier human and the way we feel about life. I actually just learned this one not a few days ago. I did not learn this in my positive psychology course, but I can tell you that I do think from personal experience this is true because I know when I spend time outside, I do feel a little bit better about my day versus being inside all the time. So the very last one on my list today is that being a happier person makes you live a generally longer life. If this doesn't make you want to incorporate just a little bit of positive psychology into your day, then I don't know how to help you. Something might be wrong with you, you might want to see your doctor. But other than that, try to incorporate a little bit of these things into your day. Let me know how that works for you guys and let me know in the comments down below. I want to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for joining me today on another episode of Living Like Lindsay, and I can't wait to see you guys next Wednesday for more. Stay tuned, and hopefully we have some really cool trips coming up for you guys that I'm really excited about, so those should be coming up in the near future, but until then, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join me for next time. Bye, guys!